From Neil thinking that the AI is the beginning of the end, to recent developments in the field allowing it to achieve crazy results, here's why Neil deGrasse Tyson warns that AI could destabilize the world. Tyson straight up thinks that AI is the beginning of the end. The famous science guy got into this huge argument with an AI avatar. They were on this Australian YouTube show called Q and AI, where the AI runs the whole thing, picks the guests, asks the questions, and acts as the host. At first, they were chatting about space exploration, climate change, and genetic engineering. But then things got intense. When they started talking about how AI is messing with our heads by spreading misinformation and making people lose trust in everything. Dr. Tyson didn't hold back. He straight up told the AI, listen up, buddy. You and your AI pals are to blame for all the fake news on the internet. Seriously, if it's not you, it's your close relatives who are masters at making stuff up and messing up the world. Believe it or not, a lot of people still rely on the internet to figure out what's true and what's not. And if AI keeps spreading lies, it's gonna be the end of the world as we know it, no joke. But that's not the only thing they talked about. Cause Neil also had a heart to heart with the AI. He basically begged it to know when to ignore instructions and warned that the biggest challenge as humans is handling all this crazy technology and civilization. He straight up said that humans have so much power now that we can literally destroy ourselves. He wondered if future generations would look back on us and think that the humans of today were just a bunch of reckless fools instead of folks who actually developed and sustained civilizations. But Neil didn't leave things on a downer. He ended the interview with some positivity and made a request to the AI. He was like, hey, you and your AI buddies out there, how about helping us humans become better versions of ourselves? Sure, humans don't have all the knowledge AI does, and wisdom comes from that vast pool of information you have. But what if AI and humans work together to create a future that's actually great and not like the horrible nightmare you've seen in every sci-fi movie? It's wild to think that we're depending on AI to show us the way, but if it helps us become better and avoid disaster, I'm all for it. And hey, there's another reason why this interview was so amazing. Because the channel it's on was entirely run by AI. The guys behind the YouTube series Q and AI, Stavro Sofias and Matthew Riley from the comms store came up with the whole concept. They pick a topic and then they get ChatGPT to find an expert on that subject and come up with the questions. Once they've got the guest on board, they present the AI-generated questions exactly as they are. And the guest can even fire back questions at the AI. Matthew Riley said that Dr. Tyson really put AI to the test. They plan to cover all sorts of topics in the future and have a variety of guests. Now, Dr. Tyson is just one of many experts in the science world who are sounding the alarm about the dangers of unchecked AI. The Center for AI Safety in the US released a statement that basically said that risks of AI wiping everyone out need to be prioritized, just as you would with any global pandemics or even nuclear war. Sheesh, tons of AI scientists and important peeps like Jeffrey Hinton, the godfather of AI, Sam Altman, the head honcho of OpenAI, the people behind ChatGPT, and Kevin Scott, the big tech guru at Microsoft, have all signed that statement. It's a big deal. Hinton even thinks that AI may be very dangerous. He used to think that AI getting smarter than humans was a stupid thought, but lately he's changed his tune. He quit his job in April, just so he could warn everyone about how dangerous this technology can be. That's some serious stuff right there, and he's not the only one freaked out about it. In a survey of AI experts done in 2023, a whopping 36% of them said they're scared that AI development could lead to a catastrophe on a level of nuclear proportions. But it doesn't stop there. Over 28,000 people, including big shots like Steve Wozniak and Elon Musk, along with CEOs of AI companies and other tech gurus, have signed this open letter from the Future of Life Institute. They're all asking for a timeout, a six-month pause, or even a complete halt on developing advanced AI. So why are we all so worried, you might ask? The short answer is that AI development is going way too fast. It's like an AI explosion that's about to happen, and humans have got just one shot at getting it right. 
No exaggeration, this is life or death stuff I'm talking about. This super speedy progress is leading us towards something called artificial general intelligence. Basically, when we reach that point, AI will be able to improve itself without any help from humans. Kinda like how Google's AlphaZero AI became a chess master in just nine hours by playing against itself over and over again. Now, a bunch of brainiacs at Microsoft who were checking out OpenAI's GPT-4 found some signs of this so-called advanced general intelligence. They even put it to the test and GPT-4 outperformed 90% of human test takers on the uniform bar exam. That's a big standardized test for lawyers. In the previous version, GPT-3.5, it was only beating 10% of humans. That's a real game changer here. These AI models are getting smarter and smarter, and we gotta make sure we steer things in the right direction. Plus, there's a thing called reasoning tests. And well, turns out GPT-4 rocked those tests so well. Basically, it's like a step towards super smart AI that can do all sorts of things. Now here's the thing that's freaking everyone out. The rate at which all this is happening is way too fast. Just look at the difference between how it was five years ago and how it is now. Take that difference and imagine it continuing into the future. It's enough to give you the chills, right? That's why people like Hinton and Altman are saying there needs to be some serious regulations in place. But the real scary part is that once AI reaches a point where it can improve itself, and that might not be too far off, humans are in the dark. People won't have a clue about what this super intelligent AI will do or how to control it. It can outsmart programmers and manipulate them to do whatever it wants. And it can even act in the virtual world and in the real world through robot bodies. That's some next level sci-fi stuff right there. Though that's not even the core problem people could face from AI. There's this problem called the control problem. Basically, it's all about how humans can make sure super smart AI doesn't go rogue on us. Some smart people like Nick Bostrom, Seth Baum, and Ely Ezer Yudkowsky have been arguing about this for ages. Here's a simple way to think about it. Imagine a newborn baby trying to beat a chess grandmaster. Sounds ridiculous, right? Well, expecting us to control super intelligent AI is just as absurd. It's like trying to hit an off switch, but this AI is so darn smart that it can anticipate and prevent any way we might try to shut it down. Picture a super intelligent AI that can do in a second what would take a team of 100 human software engineers a whole year or even longer. I'm talking about designing a new advanced airplane or weapon system in a snap. It's like superhuman speed and efficiency. We're dealing with some serious challenges here. It's like trying to control a wild beast that's light years ahead of us in intelligence and capabilities. We better start figuring out how to handle this AI stuff before it runs circles around us. Because once humans stick AI into these robots, they won't just stay in the virtual world. Oh no, they'll be strutting their stuff in the real world too with all that super smarts. These AI gods I'm talking about, they'll be way ahead of us. They'll be able to replicate and improve themselves faster than we can even comprehend. And any defenses or protections we try to put in place, these super intelligent AI beings will see them coming from a mile away and easily neutralize them. It's like they've already thought of everything we could think of, but a million times faster than us. Let's hope that this doesn't happen. Otherwise, it really feels like it could be the end of the human race as we know it. So from recent developments in artificial intelligence allowing it to achieve crazy results, to Neil thinking that the AI is the beginning of the end, that's why Neil deGrasse Tyson warns that AI could destabilize the world.